What is up, YouTube gun people? <laughs> Look at the glow. Look at the glow from the shirt. I'm like an angel. Yeah, give it up for that iPhone light management thing. This is like the worst camera for a light watch I've ever seen in my life. But it's kind of cool. I mean, if you, if, you, if you have a photographer's eye and you're an artiste like me, you can uh, use it to your advantage. <laughs> I think I'm about to lose my glow. Nope, still there, thank goodness, right? Uh, I'll tell you what. I think I really want a Ned Brown now. <laughs> I just don't know which one. I, I, I want to say, what do they have, the, the executive? Do they make the executive in full size? Because, uh, you know, I ain't no midget, so I don't need no little little gun with a, with a little bobbed end on the bottom like a bitch. <laughs> Uh, I, I like the Ed Brown. Uh, by the way, warning, as you may have uh, surmised, or guessed, rather, from the title, uh, this video will have strong language, so if that's going to bother you, please uh, please go ahead and click it off now. I'll give you, I mean, I'll give you a couple seconds. Everybody gone? It's just us now? All right. <laughs> What I like about the Ed Brown today more than ever is, in my opinion, it has officially became, to me, the fuck you gun. <laughs> what? There's flashing on the, on the breach? Fuck you. <laughs> what? You want my autograph? Fuck you. <laughs> I would, I would buy... I would buy an Ed Brown custom whatever the fuck and send that slide back to them to get them to write fuck you on the side. <laughs> Ed Brown, fuck you. <laughs> Here's what I dig about it. You got Kimber, for example, which I guess it's a good gun. I, I'm, you know, the people... The people that own them versus the people that have had trouble, I mean, you, you hear about the ones you have trouble with, but I, I know many, many, many people who have not had a single hiccup out of their gun. Uh, you know, Kimber Kimber has to rely on, on nut-hugging the NRA with those uh, advertisements in the National Rifleman and stuff like that just to get it jammed down their throat until people think that Kimber is the only, only manufacturer of handguns. But Ed Brown, man just sort of trucking along, right? Just kind of trucking along. And then then he sells his pistols to, to unfortunately, people who think that $3,000 is a lot of money for a firearm. And, uh, you know, I'm... Don't tell the wife. Don't tell the wife. But I'm not... Never been big on being a handgunner per se. But as a rifleman, and what any other rifle person would tell you, Three thousand dollars on a rifle it's about average by the time you're accurized rigged on out uh three thousand dollars on a rifle is like the the baseline so you know when somebody's like oh here, this pistol is three thousand dollars you know whatever dude <laughs> i've seen a i've seen a three thousand dollar optics kiss my ass <laughs> like shit dude and then um what, what else is there? The, um, oh, where was I going with that? Um, damn it. There goes a train of thought. Anyway, uh, so like to say, hey, you know, when you spend $3,000 on a gun, shoot, dude, you, you get what you get. Um, when you, when you pick one off the shelf and, uh, you don't get a chance to really look at it and you buy it from a, from a place like, uh, you know, from a big superstar, I just, I just don't know, man, I just don't know, I don't mean any offense to the, to the, to the dudes who, uh, who've got done dirty, uh, you know, that's, that's an unfortunate situation, uh, but, you know, <laughs> damn, that's all I'm saying is, damn, Now the bitch of the whole thing, you take uh, an Ed Brown that's that's hand built, I want to say, from the ground up, and it's 
quality controlling. As far as manufacturing defects, you got uh, you got a bunch of robots in Austria pumping out plastic pieces of crap and little slivers of steel with very, very few blemishes. That's right. Black perfection, baby. You could, you could, for the price of an Ed Brown, you could be like the killer, you know? You could have, you don't, you wouldn't have to reload, okay? You could buy four, four Glock 22s. Yeah. And you could dual weld and then when you run them empty, you just throw them aside, and then you pick up two more. There you go. That's my, that's my advice. So, uh, yeah, shop, shop Ed Brown, and, um, and this, this week only, with every purchase of an Ed Brown, you will receive a personal fuck you from the man himself. <laughs> Y'all take care.